Kumba stated that challenges faced by the education sector, such as insufficient classrooms and teachers' housing, will be a priority. APP proposes. We are going to reintroduce colleges of education for which I was trained as a teacher to run parallel with universities. For immoral and unethical behaviors among teachers and learners, APP is ready to introduce through research and introduce peace studies in schools because these immoral behaviors are coming from unpeaceful demonstrations and behaviors. We don't only introduce peace studies in schools because there is war, but we introduce peace studies in the presence of justice. And we say in the ABB government, teachers' housing will be a condition of service. Another area needing redress is teacher learner ratio. APP also promised to establish the agriculture university. Hunger and poverty is visible, but this hunger and poverty is in the region that is regarded as food basket for Namibia. Why should it happen? We propose as APP government, there should, there should be a university specific for agriculture to cater for Zambezi, Kavango East, the Triangle of Otavi, Hrofontein area, and also in the south. Under APP government, traditional leaders will have total governance over communal land. Kumba says if elected, the party will see to it that corruption is reduced and make the Anti-Corruption Commission an independent entity. He added that if corruption is dealt with, APP will introduce a monthly targeted basic income grant of $5,000 to needy families. Kumba says the party's manifesto manual will be uploaded on the internet for everyone to have access to it. Elizabeth Mungo, NBC News, Rundu.